Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some Rim World. In today's video, I want to show you guys the next uh, colony that I've built. Um, it's actually not the uh, next one since the last one you've seen. I've actually been experimenting a little bit, but I have learned a few things, so I think it should be pretty good. Uh, the latest thing that I've tried to get going here is a little bit of uh, hydroponics because my food is, well, it's not going all that well. Uh, but uh, let's speed it up as it is night. The biggest improvement though is that I figured out how to make the refrigerator which is very important. So here we have a stockpile that is uh, for food only and is the uh, most important one for food. So uh, it, it has like uh, a preference that uh, if they find food they'll bring it here first. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's at minus 9 degrees, so that means that food just doesn't spoil here. Won't spoil and won't spoil, which is pretty awesome. And here, of course, is the electric stove that can then um, grab, uh, grab this food and turn it into simple meals or into uh, fine meals. Do I have the bill for that going? Yeah, do forever. So as many as they can, uh, I also want them to do the fine meals. Unfortunately here the power situation is not that great so I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix it. What I could probably try is to connect this with another battery here um, and then try to have this solar panel be active there as well. So I think we'll do that. Let's put down a battery here and then go through the entire wall I guess. Uh, this would be expensive. Do I have enough resources for that? I think that's okay. Still have a few of these. We get some wood. And we have get marble blocks and slate blocks. Um, plenty of those. So, alright, let's do it. Let's put down the battery. And then let's connect these two. Like that. There we go. That will hopefully help with the hydroponics. Um, so let's have them do that first. They should pick this up. Yeah, just mostly iron. So that's connected. Get going. And now they should all slowly start to fill up um, and provide extra energy from here as well towards this one. If need be, I can, I can add another solar panel here too um, and, and get that going. So that's pretty good. Uh, food though, this is at 70%, this is at 82% and this is just starting, so that's not too great. Um, grab a bit more iron, I think that's a good idea. So let's grab this, all of that. And uh, one tip that I've got and I've followed is to go for stone cutting first so you can make a stone cutter stable. This is basically what turns all of these tiles like this, these chunks, into useful blocks. And this is why you can see now that I don't have any wooden walls here anymore, uh, which tend to um, to blow up and to then uh, burn into a hellish fire uh, as some of my batteries also blow up from time to time. So uh, I think my next step is to continue here. So we've got so much slate that I'm definitely going to structure, grab some slate walls and keep the pattern going here. Uh, is all of this slate? Yes, and this is as well. So then we'll put down a slate floor here too. Floor, slate tiles, go like this, that and that. And then maybe make a marble door. So structures, marble door, just to give it a different color. I think that could look good. And yeah, hopefully this will now be able to keep going. Um, but as you can see, I'm slowly learning more and more about... What am I researching? Auto doors. Okay, that could be good as well. Switching into some auto doors at some point to speed things up once again. Uh, I think especially like this one, this one. These could be important um, just so that they can go to like the cooking station more quickly and things like that. We really don't have a lot of food. Uh, so maybe what I'll try next is do a bit of hunting. Yeah, a tortoise is definitely good for hunting work. Who is hunting here? NG the engineer. She has a pistol. That should be good. So let's go. Keep firing. <laughs> All right. That's a hit. Another hit. 
traders from Plenty's Mountain are coming. Uh, this is being filled up. And these batteries, okay, hopefully we'll get through the night. Now just kill that. So we have a bit extra food. Yes, finally. Grab it. Finished out the doors. Awesome. Uh, let's slow this down a little bit. I could go for what is this? Quickly pause here. So what I'm what I'm thinking now is my next step is going to be find out how to create better clothes, maybe armor, and create better weapons for everyone. I think that's pretty important. Uh, so machining could be good, but maybe we should uh, first go for the smaller stuff. Brewing allows you to build a brewery to transform hops into tasty, tasty beer. That sounds like something that could be good here. You can definitely build a brewery here. Um, plant some hops uh, will be my next project then, I guess. And uh, okay, sounds, sounds good. Um, so they can get back to work. Uh, keep going after the tortoises here as well and then hopefully someone is going to butcher that uh, one thing now that I've been noticing now that I under oh, so that's the traders okay uh, now that I've been learning more about the game is that it's it's not like banished um, in the sense that you can very easily whoops is actually creating a couple meals from that which is okay uh, in that you can speed things up so fast still be decently in control because you can micromanage your guys so well uh, am i not planting anything here okay they'll do that later um that eventually oh my god such a bad aim here <laughs> that uh, eventually you can really speed up uh, your plan very quickly and so it can be much more intense oh man running out of food here that's not too good um but you can get to a result like this once you know how to get there very quickly uh, compared to a uh, banish that that will always be a little bit more slow so let's let's get through this night here as well actually feel confident keeping this running and uh, let's maybe quickly look if there is some stuff to harvest wow that's a lot here not a lot either down here a bit and over there okay well, well we'll try it because my food situation is not good which is why I really wanted to start going with some um, with some uh, of these hydroponics and as you can see here it's still very close so I will have to production no power build another solar plant here I think um, just to make sure that this can keep running because it is pretty expensive so let's get that going and then okay that's filled up decently quickly build up the solar power please which should now help to stabilize things and i wish they would plant my berries although maybe a different food could be better not really sure uh, but yeah let's keep them let's keep them going here a bit they grab that iron there's more to come so that's good the hunting starts once again yeah plenty of iron that's nice Let's uh, see if I can... Alright, that's okay. Machining here is good too. And they're grabbing a bit of food, so that's alright. Let me think here. Maybe if I would change this to something else. Potatoes. Oh, hold on. What, what is heal root? Heal root. Do I have heal root? None of your... Ah, oh, damn it. That's too bad. Uh, that could be pretty important later on. So let's keep going. Kill the damn tortoises for their meat. That's good. A uh, couple more of these are being made, which is nice. Hopefully that'll get butchered for the meat. Yes. Okay, so... And this is finally planted. All right. You guys can keep cooking, do a bit of research as well, as a thunderstorm starts a little bit of fire, which is not too good. One of the joints that can be left. Uh, and it's a dry storm, so 
this will actually expand. But uh, luckily, my colony should be all right at this point. So just keep going now a little bit, guys. The food situation, not great, but uh, this should... 93, 92, that's looking better. And this grows very quickly. 96% also grows during the night, so that's pretty awesome, of course. Which should help stabilize things, so that's awesome. Um, anything else? Yeah, finally, a little bit of this. The first, the first foods from the hydroponics bay are coming in here. So that's good, you can keep going. Let's uh, do another night here. They're having a bit of a discussion while Talia is doing her research. And a uh, brewery will be next here. Yeah, we still need to see how the power will last through the night now in my hydroponics. Let's take a look at that. Otherwise, I may need to expand here, get more power going yet again. So let's see if it does all right. Obviously, it's slowly going to drain. This one first, apparently. Being drained. But production is back up. Okay, so this seems to be decently stable. Two hydroponics, four solar panels, though. That's quite a lot. A couple of lamps here should be okay. Um, the research is coming along nicely as well. So my next step, do I still have... Okay, I think we'll we'll just grab these because the next step, of course, is to continue the pattern here, which means that we will want to go for yet another solar panel and a battery. For now, maybe I'll isolate this from the rest of the group, and then at some point I will, of course, want to connect this um, so that the entire grid uh, how do you show that Not sure like this you can at least take a look at it um, so that the entire grid can be connected not sure if that's the best though if something goes wrong the entire grid goes down if i do that um, but reinforcing this and then getting an electronic research bench is definitely part of the program as well so that's looking all right um, these are 96 percent grown and 94% grown and these go at 152 and at 230% so in just a couple of days uh, this rice does grow in the hydroponics that's nice got a bit of food left you guys can grab that that sounds good build some more power stuff and next yeah maybe yeah, auto doors, they do need power as well though. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, but maybe we should get started on that as well. At least some food from the potatoes. That's great. Very good news. That's not a lot. Just keep going here. And here already at 36% growth. That's pretty cool. Just keep going. We'll want an auto door here for sure. So hopefully we have the resources for that. Um, I wonder if I can just build structure out the door. Can I just build this here now? No. So I'll need to deconstruct that. And then I'll need to build. Can I do it now? Nope, not yet. Right, gonna keep an eye on that. Everybody's talking at the dinner table again. About all my terrible plans. Uh, this is going to... <laughs> Make everything a bit colder here, but finishing that before um, more of the food comes online, I think is a good plan. So let's keep going now. You guys get on the auto door business, please. Uh, don't go eating now, NG. I need you to build the door. There we go. Powered up. That should once again speed up the efficiency. There you go, look at that. Uh, finally moved. Rain is actually good news because that means the fires are out. And uh, yeah, my little colony here is doing quite, quite nicely. Let's take a look at the cargo pots. Uh, some more skins. 
I'll take that if I need. I can probably use a tailor. Do I have a tailor? Not yet. So I could put down a tailor here. I think that makes sense. Um, production. The question is, do I... Yeah, electric tailor. Just go a bit more quickly and efficiently. Put down some furniture. So we'll take a wooden chair. Thank you. And... There you go. So the lessons that I've learned, definitely the stone cutting, very important. I basically have a bill going, fill up the tree 10. Um, and so you've got plenty of those resources. Uh, the, the fridge, as you can see now with, um, with the corn, this should help a lot. And if I hunt down a few animals, we should actually get some better meals. Or if we can grab this dead monkey, anything else grabbable. Let's take a look. Well, we could hunt for this guy. Maybe we'll quickly do that. Um, and here we'll start tailoring. Maybe, depends on how big the brewery is. Maybe we can put that down here. So it's definitely uh, furniture. Put down a lamp here as well. And um, now let's prepare something. I did uh, watch a video about uh, food and, and cooking and things like that. And so something that was really cool that you can do is you can put two stockpiles here. Then you can put that into food only. So foods, uh, only the no meals. Then get rid of everything else. And so now if you have some surplus, they can actually put that down here. Uh, maybe I should put the priority to important as well. Here you can do the same. Um, so let's just take everything out for a moment. Get back to raw foods. Priority important. And then if you put down for furniture a couple of stools. Um, this should once again speed things up as they don't need to constantly travel in order to uh, create the meals. So let's take a look, see if that works. Um, this, look at that, 58% just in one day. Energy here up a little bit, but not by much. Yeah, up a little bit, it's okay. Uh, it's of course a sun lamp also that costs quite a bit. What I could do potentially is break out this wall, put up another, um, put up another hydroponics bay here to increase efficiency a bit uh, but I will need more power for that but I, I could use this one to go in here provide power from this entire relay that could be a plan actually we'll, but that, we'll, we'll definitely see that later I've been going for quite a bit already uh, but yeah RimWorld guys honestly it's a pretty cool world uh, cool world and game Let's see if we can grab this as well, so we can get a couple of fine meals going. That should work out now. There we go. Just butcher the meat. Let's see. The meat is placed here, which is good. Uh, butcher more of this. Go hunting. That's nice. Oh, man. Why aren't you... Ah, there we go. Finally. Fine meals. As long as we've got... Um, meat to make them i want them to make this uh, these fine meals because they are pretty good more excellent just keep going and look at that now with uh, with the tables done uh, and food on there saves them a bit of a of a trip every time pretty awesome there we go put down the fine meal Todd cooks up another fine meal and he can do that in basically one trip because he doesn't have to uh, go back here to let's say grab some corn and put that down here. Angie in the meantime is going to build this up, that's nice. Research coming along decently well as well. Brewing, so we'll experiment with that afterwards and they are bringing in the last of the leather as yet again rice is being grown here. Going to help with the food situation. Um, maybe, maybe a third one here could be good. Uh, mental break, sad wanderer. Andrew is wandering around. Reason, bonded animal Kafka died. It's unfortunate, but come on, Angie. Uh, grab a fine meal and then uh, 
I think you'll be okay. Look at that. Plenty of fine meals being produced here. All of them nice in the fridge so they don't spoil. And uh, under control. There you go, guys. This is my colony. More lessons learned. Next up, let's try out the brewing. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.